driving out the neighborhood, I said, paid off. I don't care if you're behind. You still got the decree and declare paid off. I, I don't care if you ain't moved in it yet. You got to still look at it and say, Somebody say, Bishop, that sounds crazy. Well, so does four leopard men at the gate of the city. And they said, why sit we here until we die? Let's just get up and go into the city. And the Bible says that when they got up, God allowed the enemy to hear a noise in the twilight. In other words, a lot of us waiting on God to move. God no waiting on you to move. You got to be able to decree and declare that thing. It's already. Hear me good, hear me good, hear me good. Be seated still in this atmosphere. I gave them the opportunity because God said to do it. He said, tell the people to just put it in the prayer request box. You don't have to put your name, you don't have to put your address. All you got to put is say, pay it off. And they begin to take these prayer requests and begin to write them down. And they begin to just write down, pay it off. It's already done, paid in full. If you believe God, just lift your hands, just lift your hands. You don't have nothing to lose but everything to gain. I don't have no games. I don't have no gimmicks. If you look me up, you'll find out that I got a fearless reputation of faith. I believe that if God said a mosquito could pull a plow, I wouldn't ask how I'll just hit him up. I've seen God take my house out of foreclosure. I've seen God Give me a house, give us a house when we didn't even have the down payment nor the credit score to qualify for it. Just look at somebody and tell him he can do anything. Mark 9 says, all things are possible to them that believe. Hannah was barren, couldn't have a child, but she went into the temple, made a petition. The priest heard and told the girl, get up. That thing that you believe in God for, it's all ready, done. First Samuel chapter number one. Go back and read it in your spare time. Same God back then, same God right now. Ooh, look at somebody and tell them, I'm looking for a miracle. I expect the impossible. Oh my God, you will watch God do it. You're going to come back running and saying, God did that thing, God did that thing, God did that thing, God did that thing. And all you had to do was just be obedient and write it down. Can you imagine how that woman felt when she ran to the prophet and said, listen, you know my husband did serve the Lord, 2 Kings chapter number 4. He did serve the Lord. Walked up right before, before our God. Well, anyway, the creditors have come. Because the debt is so bad, they want to take my children. Man of God looked at her and said, what do you have in your house? She said, I ain't got nothing but an accrued oil. He said, all right, let me tell you what. Take that there and go in. And gather all the empty look at somebody tell them that don't make no sense. Gather all the empty vessels. And when you get in there, start pouring out. Start pouring out. Start pouring out. And the oil kept flowing on Quran until there was no more empty vessels. You know what God is looking for? Empty vessels. That he can pour into. And the Bible says. She came, she came back, back and he said, now go, go sell, sell the oil. oil. Pay, pay off, off your, your debt. Not, not pay, pay on it. it. Pay, pay it off. off. And, and live on the rest. <laughs> Look at somebody and tell them your best days, days are not behind you. you. Your, your best, best days, days are before you. Oh, my God. God, God is just seeking for those in the earth, first lady, that, that would just believe him. Bye. Did you write it down? God, pay, pay it off. Pay, pay it off. Not just the house. Pay the car off. Pay everything off. Pay it off. Pay it off. Minister Jones, I was looking the other day and I was watching on CNN and they were talking about how the debt is rising. And I sat back and I said, oh my God, how the debt is rising by trillions of dollars. 
And right when I was looking at it, the Lord spoke to me and said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Everything that the devil is doing, I'm doing the opposite. He said, that don't apply to you. He said, you don't live based off of this world here. You live based off my kingdom principles. Ooh, my God, the just shall live by faith. And so I'm cooking as I saw the dead rising, God said, and I see it in the realm of the spirit. I saw the depths of the things coming down. Just lift your hands and say, God, I believe you can do anything. I believe you can do anything. If God can cause the sun to stand still, to give his people an opportunity to win the battle, you mean to tell me he can't turn that thing around for you? You have that prayer request? You have that prayer request? Bring that request. This is not your tithing. This is not your offering. So please do not put your tithing and offering in this receptacle. Take that prayer request and just come and place it in there. And when you place it in there, decree and declare, God can do anything. I'm looking for a miracle. I expect the impossible. Oh, my, 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 the invincible. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, God can do anything. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, if you believe it, grab hold to it. Oh, 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 oh. I know it will, I know it will. The sky is the limit, everybody. The sky. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, grab hold to it, everybody. Ooh, the sky. Is the limits to what I can have. Come on, I need you to see free and declare everybody in the sky. Oh, to what I can. Here's the key right here. Just believe and receive it. Believe and receive it. God will perform it today. Hey, oh, believe and receive it. God will perform it. If you believe it, jump on your feet. I'm looking for a miracle. I'm looking for a Come on. It's already done. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. I see the invisible. I need you to lift your voice. I'm looking for a miracle. Oh, oh, oh. It's already done. God, we believe you for it. In the name of Jesus. All right, everybody in the sky in the limits the sky. Come on, everybody, grab hold to it. Oh, the sky. Come on, wave your hand. The sky is the limit to what I can have. Oh, just believe. Just believe and receive it. God will perform it. All right, some of y'all not saying anything. One more time, I'm looking. King for a miracle. Come on, I expect. Come on, you gotta see it and gotta say it. Come on, that's it. I'm looking for a miracle. Real simple, I expect. Come on, I feel Oh my, 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 my All right, everybody wave your hand The sky Hey, to what I can have Come on, you got to see it God wants to bless you The sky Come on, one more time The sky Just believe, just believe and receive. Break, break. Right but believe, just believe and receive. Come on, come on, just believe. Come on, come on, get it. Hey, just believe. I think it's not marching. Hey, just believe and receive. Just believe and receive. 
Come on, put some swag in your step. Just believe it. Let see. One more time, everybody. Believe it. All right, this is the last time. Promise me. Just believe it. God will perform it today. Hey, hey. You gotta put that on. Put your head on. Look at Sarah and tell them, watch God do it. Now hear me good, when I rolled out my neighborhood, I just didn't look at my house and say, pay it off. I looked at my neighbor's house and said, pay off. Pay off. See, when you can, oh, stop that. When you can believe God to do it for somebody else, look at somebody and tell them, I believe God to do it for you. I said, I believe God to do it for you I said I believe God to do it for you my God all right all right look at him my God ain't blessing no stingy people I'm telling you that right now hear me good I got Bible just look at him and tell him I'm believing God to do it for you come on look at somebody else and tell him I'm believing God to do it for you ladies Spence do me a favor just go and lay your hands on the woman because I heard the Lord say the baby will never want for anything. The baby will never want for anything. Oh, oh my God. I want you to get it in your spirit. Look at him and tell him that baby will never want for anything. That baby will never want for anything. Well, let me tell you something right now. Hear me good. Hear me good. Well, ain't no new money. Because, because ain't, ain't none left, left the earth. earth. Look at somebody tell me, ain't no money, money left, left this earth. earth. So, so everything, everything you need, need it's, it's already, already here. here. And, and God, God will lay you on the heart of somebody, somebody just to bless you. you. I, I ain't getting no help. Look at somebody and tell them, when God bless me, I'm going to bless somebody else. I, I'm, I'm serious. serious. I, want I want you to get, get that in your spirit. When God bless, bless you, know what? I, I, I got to run. I got to get out of here. But deep, watch this here. When God blessed them four leopards in Second Kings chapter number seven, when they were in the midst of the famine, watch this here. A famine. It couldn't kill nothing. It would nothing die. Famine. When God blessed them and they walked in, they became instant millionaires. I said they became instant. Millionaire. Now, now mind you, they, they were lepers. <laughs> Look at somebody and tell them your affliction is not going to stop God from advancing you. They, 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 they were lepers. Good God Almighty. In other words, your past is not going to blot out your future. They were lepers. Look at somebody and tell them your past mistakes is not going to cause you to miss God. They were lepers. What are you saying? Forgive yourself. They, 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 they were lepers. And they became instant millionaires. Now watch this here. Angelique, they got so much that they said one to another. Wait a minute, we doing good right here. But listen, let's go wake the king up. It's in the text. Let's go wake the king up because guess what? God done blessed us, so let's go bless somebody else. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I'm going to call you in the middle of the night. And I'm going to wake your hind parts up. And when you see it, you better get up because there's a miracle on the other line. Look at somebody and tell them, don't ignore my calls, baby. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Man, I'm telling you. See, when you get to the place to where you can see God doing it for somebody else. <laughs> oh my God, look at somebody and tell them, I see God blessing me to bless you. All right, you're going to test them right now. Tell them, and I see God blessing you to bless me. Watch how they act. They act funky and fake. Don't ever talk to them again. Right? All right, listen, I got to go because I got to read the text for you. I got to read the text for you. I, I want you to hear me real good. God's going to do it. Bro, God's going to do it. I'm just, I've seen God do some crazy stuff. I'm talking to one of my relatives. 
I, I can't tell you everything. You know, I'll tell the first lady sometimes as the preacher, you know, you, you, you got to edit it. You can't tell them everything. And I was talking to one of my relatives, and we were sitting there talking, and they come visit sometimes. They come visit sometimes. See, God got a way of cleaning folk up. They don't even look like what they went through. And he called me. He said, bro, you remember the judge gave me them 76 years? I say, I say yeah. yeah. What's going, What's going on? on? He said nothing. nothing. I'm, I'm just thinking, thinking about, about it, man. I only did three and a half. I said. He said, but I had seventy six. I said, yeah, yeah. What's, 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 what's up? up? Everything good? He said, yeah, yeah, man, I'm just sitting there saying, if God can turn 76 years to three and a half, you mean he tell me he can't turn that thing around for somebody? Look at somebody telling him, you might have a relative right now that ain't believing God, ain't serving God, but if you pray that God do it for them, I'm telling you, God will turn that thing around. Look at somebody tell him, watch God do it. He has 76, 76 years. years. Drop the, the gavel on 76 years. years. When, when they, they gave him that time, time I, got I got weak. weak. I, I said, said, good God almighty. Lord, Lord, help me. 76, 76 years? You know what the newspaper read? The newspaper read that the same judge that gave him 76 gave a man for two homicides only 30. And my relative didn't kill nobody. Look at somebody and tell them there are some folk who, 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 who you didn't do as half as much as they did. And now look like you got to pay a greater penalty. Tell them, but don't worry, God's going to turn that thing around. Because when he came home in three and a half years, the joker that still got 30 was still, y'all looking at me. Look at somebody tell them, don't worry about what somebody else get. Just watch what God do for you. And watch what happened here in the three and a half years. <laughs> so crazy. In the three and a half years, Chauncey, guess what? He went in with high blood pressure. He came out 40 pounds lighter. Blood pressure went down. He went in a diabetic, came out. Well, no, oh, ain't no cookies back there. You understand what I'm saying? He, he, came out, he came out better than what it was when he went in. When you catch this, look at somebody and tell him, you're going to be better when you come out of this thing than where you were when you went in it. And when he came out, you know what he said? It was good that I went. I ain't getting no help. Would you hurry up and run to somebody and tell him, you may not like what you're in, but it's good that you're in it. Because when you come out of it, you're going to look back. And say so it was good that I was afflicted. Because had I not gone through anything, I'd have been a nasty, arrogant, no good somebody. But I thank God that the trials that I went through took off the rough edges. Look at somebody and tell them you wouldn't have wanted to sit next to me back then. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. I, 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 want I want you to, to see, see something, something here. here. What, what's, what's this here? What's this here? What's this here? It was good that you went through what you went through. Look at James 1. I'm done. Look at James 1. You had to go through that thing. Even the thing you're going through right now. It may not feel good to you, but it's good for you. And we, we as Christians, Christians got to got learn how to, how to embrace, embrace God's, God's process. process. Yes, oh my God! God. You, you, you know, you know, just 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 a couple of years ago, just just a couple years ago, you know, y'all go ahead and be seated. Y'all go ahead and be seated because I, I I didn't know I, didn't know I was going to start, start, but but I know I'm going to stop in a few minutes here. What's this? Just just a couple of years ago. My wife, wife, wife said, said to me, I'm, I'm so, so transparent, transparent. And, and, and that's, that's right. right. So, so sometimes, sometimes you have to have tell it so that, that when, when, when it becomes it a rumor, rumor, you know, you, you tell them, them we already knew that. that. A couple, couple, couple years ago, ago uh, wife, wife and I, we, we had a heated, heated discussion. discussion. And, 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 you know, we don't argue, we just have heated discussions. And so we had one of them heated discussions. She looked at me, she said, Jay, you ought not be boasting in that. 
You know what I mean? I said, what you want? She said, y'all not be boasting that. And, and this was my argument. I said, I pay all my bills on time. I said, I ain't behind in nothing. I pay all my bills on time. And I, I ain't behind in nothing. And I got happy. They, they, they'll tell you, you know, this ain't no put on. You know, you know this will come on. I dance at the house between commercials, but I'm done before the show come back on, so you ain't got to work. And, and I got up. I said, I pay all my bills on time. And, and I ain't laid on nothing. You know what I was saying? And she looked at me. And she was over there, I remember, because she was making some salmon cakes. I like the salmon cakes with the crispy ends on them. Y'all do? Y'all like salmon cakes, too? I like salmon cakes. I like salmon cakes. And so she was making the salmon cake, and she, she had a spatula in her hand. She said, you got to be careful with that. I said, uh-huh. And, and then we moved. Look at somebody tell them, sometimes a move will reprove you. You know, you know? And, 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 and then we And then we moved. And, and, and then, then I end up I having to make, I know y'all know I don't like this because you, you, you know, you see the collar and, and, and the robe, but don't let the smooth taste fool you. Then I had to call the people that I was paying on time for the last three, four years and make payment arrangements. Okay, let me talk on this side, y'all. I, I had to make payment arrangements. And, and, and watch this here. here. My wife came, came downstairs. downstairs. She said, uh, what, what'd what they say? They I said, oh, they said everything is good. good. You know, you know we, we, we all good. good. I, called I called another, another creditor. creditor. And when, when I, called I called this other creditor, creditor I, had I had to make, make payment, payment arrangements. arrangements. I don't need, I don't need you looking at me like that. Some of y'all got arrangements too. I had to make payment arrangements. And then my wife looked at me and said, is your praise the same in the midst of your arrangements? As, As it, it was, was when you had, had this reputation that you paid pay everything, everything on time. time. Ain't no need. Look, Look at somebody and tell them when you can praise God, God regardless, regardless of whether you late on time, time or before time, time that's, that's when God will pay it off. off. See, but if your, your praise, praise is predicated upon your ability, then baby, look at somebody and tell them that's real immature. And so, let me help you right here. Let, let, let me help you right here. So I call the people to, to make the, the payment arrangements. So when I called the mother to make the payment arrangements, okay, okay, I'm going to help somebody right here. It, you know, it kind of bothered me a little bit because that, that ain't me. You understand where I'm coming from? That, that, that ain't me. Some of y'all looking, looking at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. You got arrangements in your pocketbook right now. You know what I'm talking about. You know, and I said, that, that, that ain't me. You know, and so what happened on Cookie, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't even keep up on the payment. Okay, okay, some of y'all acting too bougie. I had, I had made, made arrangements, arrangements, and when, when they, they gave, gave me the arrangement, I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's good. good. But when but the, when oh, the yeah, yeah got, got good, good, guess what? what? I couldn't even keep up on the, the oh, oh, am I the only one? You, 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 you know what I'm talking about? about. You, you know, and, and you still, still got, got to come out and tell the people everything going to be all right. And so I said, okay. So this time when I called, oh, my God. Now, I'm telling you right now, you got a better chance hitting the lottery than getting the same representative that you got the first time. I got, I got the, the same, same representative. representative. Hey, Mr. Bradley, Bradley, how you doing? I said, doing good. This is you. He said, yeah. yeah. I said, oh. So you take your voice up a couple of hours. Hopefully they won't think it's you. You know. I said, yeah. I'm sitting there looking. He said, what, what happened? I said, well, you know what happened. I didn't. I wasn't even making arrangements. He said, oh, okay. He says, uh, Mr. Brown, let, let me see what I can do for you. I, I, I'll call you back. So then I got off the phone, and all I can hear my wife saying, see, I told you, don't be acting on such and much. When you when was you talking, talking about, about you pay everything, everything on time, time and, and, and before, before time. time. You, you, ain't no need you sitting, you sitting there looking at me because, because I'm telling you right now, some of y'all got scared, scared as you know what when that when government, government shut down. down. Oh, God, I don't know how I'm going to make it, but God kept you through it anyhow. I ain't getting no help, Lord have mercy. And so he called me back. When he called me back, he said, I'm going to put my supervisor on the phone. So, so he put the supervisor on the phone. I said, I said God, God, it was you, you that kept me up on top of them payments. God, it was you that allowed these folks to give me favor with these payment arrangements. God, it was you that, that allowed all of these things to happen. And, and I trust you. So a supervisor came on, introduced himself, and then put me on hold for like five minutes while that music played. You understand what that music? <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about. So I got up and decided that I would start praising God right there in the kitchen while I was on hold. Okay, I'm getting ready to help somebody. 
So while I was on hold, I was praising God. I had the phone on speaker, had the microphone on mute because I'm praising God. Because even in the midst of it, because you know if you're making payment arrangements, you're already behind. So ain't no need of you trying to act so such a much. And so I'm sitting there saying, God, you're going to do it. God, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. And the guy came back on. And when he came back on, he had the same name as did. He said, Mr. Bradley, I understand what you're going through. I said, you do. He said, yeah, uh, Justin told me that he had set up some arrangements with you, but something has happened that you couldn't make the arrangements. Now, here's the part that I don't like. I don't like when they try to humiliate you and try to find out, well, what's going on that you couldn't make the arrangements? I ain't got the money. That's what's going on. Um, it's short somewhere. So he said, okay, I just need to put this in the computer. I said, okay. He said, you mind if I put you on a brief hold? I said, sure. So now, that first five minutes, in a hole. Now I got another seven, five minute hole. And now I'm sitting down and the Holy Ghost said, you was praising me on the first hole. Why don't you praise me on the second hole? So I got up and started dancing. I may be big, but I can out dance you. Try me. Uh -huh. And I started dancing right there on the second hole. And this guy came back. He says, hi, Mr. Brownlee. I said, uh, yes. Gave me my address, this, that, and the other, you know, and broke it all down. I said, yeah. He said, listen, would it help you if we just cancel the debt? Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, whatever you wait waiting on, praise God in the midst of the wait. Because all the bad news is getting ready to turn in your favor. But I got to run out of here. But look at somebody and tell them, I had to dance in the midst of the hope. And I heard the Lord say, if you would just lose your mind in the next 17 seconds and open your mouth, that I'll turn that thing around for you. Somebody open your mouth and give God glory. Look at somebody and tell them, hold on. Help is on the way. I said they came back and canceled the debt. God, I didn't say they charged it off. I said they canceled the debt. And I asked the man, do you have the authority to do it? He said, I did it before I came back to the phone. Would you look at somebody and tell them he's going to do it before you know about it? I'm sorry, I need you to go to three people and shake them real good and tell them we're in a debt cancellation season. Just hold on, baby. It's getting ready to happen. Just hold on, baby. It's getting ready to come your way. Don't you get arrogant and prideful. Stop looking down your nose and leaning on your own ability. But trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding but in all of your ways look at somebody tell them i'm on the hole baby but i'm gonna praise them on the hole Woo! look at somebody tell them i'm gonna praise them on the hole Listen. Where did I ask you to go? I asked you to go to James. Is that is that why I asked you to go? Look 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 at verse number two. My brethren, count it all joy. When you fall into divers, in other words, when you fall behind and things don't look good, can you still celebrate and rejoice then? Knowing this. The trying of your faith is working what? Now, let me help you right here. Patience has nothing to do with the hands on the cock on the wall. Patience is your ability to stay consistent in the face of adversity. Why you on hold, can you still bless me? Why you on hold, can you still keep your faith fixed and focused? Why you on hold and it don't look good when they pass your case to somebody else and it don't look like it's going to work in your favor? Can you still maintain your patience? And I heard the Lord say the reason why I brought you here was to give you this announcement. And that is that you passed the test. You kept on keeping on when it did not look good. Oh, even when you wanted to stay home, you kept on pushing your way. 
even when it seemed like it wasn't going to be beneficial for you, you kept on believing God. I need you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, congratulations. There's the goals of test that you pass. There are goals of blessing for you. Look at somebody and tell them patience is working for you. And listen, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Knowing this, y'all, y'all, y'all sit down, we just talking. No, knowing this, that the trying of your faith. Let me tell you something right now. It ain't about you. It's about your faith. Faith coming by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Every time God puts a word in your spirit, here comes the enemy. See, because hear me good, hear me good. I'm getting ready to go 0 3 on you. Watch this here. Faith untried can't be trusted. See, and you trying to trust the faith that has never been tried. And God simply said, if you're going to step out and try on this faith, trust this faith, then I got to let you go through a trial and faith is on the inside of you. So it ain't you that's going through. It's the faith in you. Ooh, would you look at somebody and tell them there's a treasure in me? The word, the word of the Lord, Lord is in you. And I got to try that thing. I got to try it. Because, because guess, guess what? what? Guess, guess what? what? When, when, when you stand, stand out to trust it, it you, you got to trust, trust what's, what's been tried. Uh-huh. <laughs> Knowing this, that the trying of your faith. Oh, my God. Watch this here. Work if patience. But, verse number four, let patience have her perfect work. That ye may be what? Perfect. And entire wanting or lacking. Would you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you ain't gonna lack nothing after this. You ain't you ain't gonna lack nothing after this. I'm talking right to you. When you come out of this, you ain't gonna lack nothing out of this. Well, ooh, ooh, thank you, Jesus. Another one right here. Help me good. Watch this here. And when you come out of this, you know I'm about to take off running him. When you come out of this, look at somebody and tell them you'll never go through it again. See the enemy that you see today, you shall see them no more. Fuck that. Oh, I wish I could run. But you look at somebody and tell them I'll never go through this again. Come on, look at somebody and tell them I'll never go through this again. No, baby, you'll never go through this again. You'll never have to deal with this again. You'll never be in positions like this again. You'll never have to go, oh my God, my God, my God. Would you look at somebody and tell them never again? Never, 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 never. I never have to walk the floor and cry about this again. I never have my back up against the wall about this again. I never have to deal with that mess again. Would you look at somebody and tell them, baby, this is my never again season. I'll never deal with this again. I'll never be fooled again like this. I'll never be manipulated again like this. I'll never be taken advantage of again like this. Would you look at somebody and tell them, never again. That thing hurts right now, baby, but I'm telling you, never again. Look at somebody and tell them, they who won it not, it shall not rise a second time. It shall not rise a second time. You ain't going through this no more. Well, all right, all right. All right, I got to say it because I heard the Lord say Look at somebody and tell them and your children that won't go through it either. Your, your babies, your children's children. You will never go through what we went through. You will never go through. I wish you would look at somebody real good and tell them you'll never go through it. Like you went through it this time. Tell them when I went through it, 
it was so let God forgive us all out lean over and grab somebody and tell them what I went through I did not like what I was going through but God put in my spirit that I have to be the one to bring my family out of it am I talking to anybody in here this morning that God chose you to break the curse off that God chose you to break the cycle off lean over and tell your little never 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 look again when I see this enemy never look again when I see this devil grab some money by one of their hands tell them I can't tell you everything but what I will tell you is it's over it's over it's over it's over it's over, it's over. So, 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 so the trying of your faith gets you to the place you, you don't want for anything. You had to endure the suffering. You, you, you had to endure it. You, you, you had to endure it. See, look, look, look at Mark 8. You, you had to endure it. That thing that you're dealing with right now, that you're trying to get out of, God said, don't try to get out of it. I'm going to get you through it. See, the blessing is on the other side of through. And I know it don't feel good. See, I, I'm not preaching to you, watch this here. You know, some folks say, practice what you preach. No, I'm preaching what I'm practicing. You, you, you get to a place that in your going through, ooh, help me, Savior. You, you don't even need an alarm clock to wake up. You go to bed with so much on you that when you have a dream, you call it a victory. And you wake up and you have to realize that what you're dealing with ain't just for you. And can I tell you what the enemy is banking on? He's banking on you giving up. He's, he's banking on you quitting. But he don't realize ain't no quit in you. See, because truth of the matter is, if you was going to quit, you would have did it a long time ago. Ain't, ain't, ain't no quit in you. Some of the stuff you done been through, did it kill other people. You know, let, let me show you something here. Let me show you something here. Stay there, Mark 8. Moses got to a place. Moses said, this burden is so heavy, it's about to kill him. He's leading Israel. He said, this thing's so heavy, it's about to kill me. And he began to cry out to God, God, if I have found favor, grace in your sight, help me with this. And the Lord said to Moses, Moses, all right, all right, all right. I promise I wouldn't put no more on you and you could bear it. So this is what I want you to do. Here's the revelation. I want you to take 70 people and bring them down. And I'm going to take the anointing off of you and put it on them. You just missed it. If Moses was dealing with something that was minuscule and minute, he'd have said, Moses, grab one or two people. But Moses, what you're dealing with is so heavy that 70 people is going to take the bear. Some of the stuff that y'all dealing with is so heavy that it didn't kill one person. 
But God simply said, get ready because I'm getting ready to surround you with some folk that can help shoulder what it is that you're dealing with so you don't have to handle it on your own. And sometimes we be saying, God, show up. God said, I'm showing up because I'm going to put people in your life, hear me for seven praises, that don't want nothing from you but that comes to add something to you. See, because some of us, you the go-to person in your family, you the go-to person in your circle. Every time there's an issue, they go to you. Every time there's a problem, they go to you. And it's wearing you out. And God says, I'm getting ready to put some people around you that guess what? They're not going to have to come to you. They not You not have to go to them. They're going to come to you and help you shoulder what it is that you're dealing with. Look at somebody and tell them, that's how God is getting ready to bless you. Now, now, he's got, got to allow you to go through what you're going through so that when they get there, you don't take advantage of them and you have a greater appreciation for them. Oh, my God. This is what he says here. In verse 27, and, I, and I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Matter of fact, slip your hands up. Jesus takes his disciples into an upper chamber. When he gets them into the upper chamber, he begins to tell them about his destiny. And as he begins to tell them about his destiny, he calls them to understand that his destiny is not apart from his death. He says, I, 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 I got to die. I, I, I got to die. And right then, Mark 8, Peter didn't, he, he didn't like, Simon Peter didn't like the way the process sounded. So he rebuked Jesus. Oh, no. And for the people who heard it, Jesus turned and rebuked him and called him Satan. What he was saying, he was saying, you don't understand that this level of success that I'm about to ascend to, this level of success that you're about to ascend to is not without suffering. I'm not here to tell you that you are about to get there. I'm telling you you're almost there because you're already dealing with it. And though this outward man perish, this inward man is being renewed day by He says, I'm putting something in you that's so powerful. <laughs> I'm putting something in you that's so great. But what I'm putting in you is greater than anything that will ever take place around you. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I guess I'm telling him, stay the course. Don't let nobody tell you that it's better to go back. Stay the course. Don't give up. Everybody's standing. I'm finished. Grab one person by the hand. Just one person. One person and just look at them. Tell them you're closer than you think. Tell them one more time. Tell them you're closer than you think. That thing that seems to be hurting your pride, that thing that seems to be working on you, that thing can really work for you. God, God will hook you up with somebody here. He'll put somebody in your life who understands. Worst thing in the world is be trying to Explain to somebody what you're dealing with and they don't understand. Jazz and I was sitting down last night watching TV and the butler came on. That's the show, the butler, the, the movie, the butler. And I was sitting there reading my Bible. Now I saw the movie and the movies like that, I watch them one time and I'm good. I walk out the theater, I be teed off. And I'm reading my Bible. And I stop and I look up 
And I saw when the man took his wife and then shot and killed him. Next thing I know, I'm up on my feet. Oh, no! Uh-uh! No, I got a problem with that. No! Couldn't have been me. Oh, is that a Sydney? You know, look around. No, son, you come in. Did you see this foolishness? See, I'm telling you now, I couldn't have been back then. This, that, and the other, so on and so forth. And then my baby asked she said, Dad, Daddy, is this movie really getting you riled up like that? I said, Daddy, let me tell you something right now. That, that's why I couldn't have been a slave. And, and, and she, she looked and she asked, asked me, you, 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 you understand how you feel? feel? No, 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 I don't understand how you feel. feel. Then, then it dawned, dawned on me. Then, then how can you respond if you, you don't, don't understand? understand. And, and sometimes you try to explain to people what you're going through that don't understand how you feel. And that's why they tell you, I'd have gave up long time. Of course you would have because you ain't never been in this. Oh, no, I wouldn't have been building no cotton. Of course you wouldn't, because you wasn't there. You wasn't birthed in that atmosphere. So now you got to stand back and go, my God, God, I thank you. God, God, I mean, I got so heated. I'm like, that's it. I don't understand. How's 300 of them out there picking cotton and it's just one man with a pistol? I don't understand. Overtake him. Man, this dude's shooting them one by one. No, of course you don't understand that. I know, I know some, some of y'all right now, you're thinking, not me. Not me. I don't understand. Not, not, not me. me. Thank, Thank God, God it wasn't you. you. But then but God will put people in your path because if you keep watching the movie, you'll see that God allows him to connect with somebody who understands. Jesus is sitting at the table. Talking to people that don't. Talking to them about his suffering that's going to lead him to success and they don't understand. So then when they begin to suffer, then they understood. Your suffering is not against you. It's working for you to bring you to a place in your mind and your spirit so that you can understand what he had to go through. You'll never suffer like him, but at least you'll have an appreciation for what he had to go through. Begin to pray for that person's hand that you're holding, that God will strengthen in them, that God will birth an understanding in their spirit, cause them to understand that because he suffered, we must suffer. Of course, not on that level, but you have to go through so that you can understand and you'll have a great appreciation for everything that you had to deal with. And then you know at the end of the day that things gonna turn around for you, come on. It's gonna be all right, just squeeze that hand gently. Don't give up in the midst of it, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. That thing going to turn around for you. Yeah, and even while you're succeeding, you're going to suffer. And even while you're suffering, you're going to succeed. And then while you're succeeding, you're going to suffer. And you'll find yourself saying that there was given unto me a thorn in my flesh. A messenger of Satan to buffer at me, lest I should be exalted above measures. I sought the Lord three times for this, and he said, my grace is sufficient. Give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him, God. Squeeze that hand gently, do it for him, God. God, we thank you for your suffering that brought us to a place of success. God, thank you, oh God. God, even as the tears flow, even as they run down on our faces right now, God, even what we're dealing with right now, God, you gave us an example in your son that it ain't gonna always be like this. We're going to get, get on, on the, the other side, side of this, but we promise God everything is going to be all right. Put your arms around him and tell him it won't always be like this. Tell him he's getting ready to turn in your favor. Come on, come on. Tell him sooner than later. 